In this video tutorial, we will see how we can hide objects on the page for different screen resolutions and how to change the order of the object on mobile devices. Also, we will see how to display a message in a special panel, for example, a message about license agreement, about the private policy and about use cookies on the site. We will also look at the site control panel, but most important we will transfer the project of our site from Website X5 Illusion to Website X5 Professional. If you want to edit a site, then you definitely need its project. Export and import project from Website X5 Evolution to Website X5 Professional similar to transfer a site project to another computer. It will be also useful if you contact the technical support service of the developer and they ask you to submit a site project. Plus, this is a great way to make a backup copy of the site and save it on external media or cloud storage such as Google Drive. Let's start with some small changes. We will change the unit it will change on every resolution also we will change this change the layout Also, let's add a link to our blog on home page. and move to the contact page. Let's see it on our built-in browser. We will work with the smallest screen resolution. Let's hide these objects. Here they are. We have special tool here we can hide objects, this and this. Let's see the result. Also, they were hide here, here, and visible here. Let's roll over our changes and hide just for this resolution. Now let's look for our page. They are visible here, 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 and not visible here. So, in this way, you can hide some objects. Let's see how to change display order. Let's see the example. So, the form is not last one. The first one is not Google Map. Let's change it. We have special tool, display order. Change this. First it will be this. And now you can see, we can change this objects. This will be 
second, third, this object will be after this. Now let's see the result. First we have a map, then some text, then our buttons, and the last one form. Let's change it again. Now first the text, then map, then form, and the last one the text. So in this way you can change ordering of the objects for smaller screen resolutions. Let's go to advanced settings, see privacy and security, let's display the statement of website policy banner. Here we can set some text, we can change the style, let it be like this, this, we can insert a link for our page with private policy, but we will lead people for contact page. Let's see what we've got. So we have this bar. It doesn't look good. Show accept button. Let it be on bottom. Here is this bar. So you can place here any message or change the style. I will leave first style, let's check control panel, before this let's change admin password, for login we need email. Let's export our site on our local server. This is our website, our agreement, just say I agree. And if you want get to the admin panel, just type admin. Enter login enter password and move to admin panel. Here we can see our blog. Here is our commands. We can delete them. We can unprove them. Here we can see commands for other objects. Let's go to our site, to our pizza order, and insert a command.
here we can see the command. Let's check it. Yes, there is a command. We can unpublish it. It will be disappear. We can proof it. It appear again and we can delete it. This is a very important area. There are some tools to test mail. If you have some problems when sending emails on your site, you can test several scripts and find out what does not work. Also, you can see some tests. Everything must be passed. So if you have some problems, look here. Now let's move our website project from Evolution to Professional. Export. Export the project. We can include or not include some files. I prefer do not include them. Choose the destination folder. For example, this. and just export it. Now we have export our project. Here is the file. It's not so big. You can find this file in the shell in lesson 18 and input to your project. Now let's start website x5 professional. This is professional version of website X5. In preferences we can see additional feature automatically add the generator meta tag. This meta tag people or search engines can see in HTML code. It says that the site is generated by website X5. You can check this or uncheck. Let's go. Here I have some folders. You also can create folders It helps better organize your projects. Also we can import our project. Here it is. Now program generate all necessary files. We have new advanced features. Also we need to check our site. You need to check all pages, all functionality to be sure that it works correctly. Let's change the position. That's more like it. Also, we have new options in Build Browser, so we can see our project in browser that install on your computer. For example, in my Mozilla Firefox, we can see it without local server. And let's move to next video tutorial.